Large stroke coming from far away. This is something that Paul is expert in. He studied with Chapin. I didn't even study with Chapin. I didn't get that chance. Now Paul studied with Chapin. He knows this technique inside out. So, loud stroke coming from far away. It has to be prepared. It has to come from far away. You have to get there first before you make the stroke. Okay, all drumming. What we hear is the impact of the stick on the head. But in actual fact, most of the... Um, most of the time in a drummer's life is spent in air, in the, in the air above the, in the movement above the drum. So this is very important. Okay? A soft note, I don't hit it softly, it just comes from less far away. So if I want to do a loud note followed by a soft note, back with a loud note, stop the stick from striking back up, from bouncing back up, and just let the second stroke happen. Very, very simple, very easy to do once you master the technique. If I want to do a soft stroke followed by a loud stroke, the soft note starts from here while the hand rises up to do the second louder stroke. Okay. Manage, I call it motion management. You could never manage um, the motion of your stakes if you're trying to think loud, soft, loud, soft. You can't, it's preparation. So, this next song I hope will demonstrate a bit more of that. It's a very groove based song, a bit slower so you can see that. Any questions on that? Well, you